بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دے ول سٹارٹ دا گرامر بک انسان القران Today we will start the grammar by learning the types of word. So in Arabic, there are three types of word. So I will give you homework for this also, probably, or maybe not. So you just write that there are three types of word. In homework, you will write like this. First, you will. write the word kalima here kalima mean word then you will write its types which are three so here you will write ism then you will write fail then you will write harf in this way you will do it in the homework so in arabic the word is of three types or you can say parts of speech are three in english we have around eight or nine parts of speech but in arabic we have only three these are ism ism mean noun second one is fail which is called verb and third is called harf which is called which is known as particle in english so ism mean name of anything fail mean verb action a word which donates the action is called a fail is called a fail then the fail has three types in english we have 12 tenses but in arabic we have only three so the first one is al fail al mazi past which is known as past tense al fail al muzari yeah presents the present tense and future tense as well let me write it for you so al fail muzari mean present tense plus future tense it is you do both of these tenses so mazi mean past muzari mean present and future then the third one is fail amar here they have written fail muzari into two types but it is same thing then the third one is fail amar which is not written here but is the it is the third type of fail so you can say fail has three types three categories first one is fail mazi which mean past then fail muzari which mean present and future and the third one is amar amar mean command imperative verb so these are the three types of fail here they have written the two types only and they are using muzari to the in the other form but it is not like this then the third category of word kalima the third category of kalima is harf harf mean particle which include conjunction and interjection and preposition so these are the classification of word in arabic if anyone has any question they can ask me so <clears throat> wa alaikum assalam Mr. My question is about the adjective. Where are they included? In the noun or verbs? 
okay you want to ask what is adjective and in which category adjectives are placed adjectives are in arabic placed. adjectives are yes. placed yes, in yes. the category of ism in arabic we'll study it in the next chapters in detail okay okay first okay. student is ari sheri ibrahim Mr. Ali Shiri Ibrahim. Faz Adana. Can you hear me? Faz Adana. Khatija Abdul Qadir. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Read this. Keyword and exclamation. Al Halimatu wa Aksamuha. Ismun. Start from here. Any word which has a meaning is some kalima. Broadly speaking, a kalima falls into three categories. Ismun. Now. Then Fialun. Bow. Then Harfun, Asiko. What did you learn here so far? Uh, the Isman. You have learned that Kalima has three types. How many types? The Isman, Salon, and Harfun. Yes, you have learned this thing so far. Okay. Repeat. What did What did you learn here? Al Kalima Yes. They have divided into three, the Ismun, Felon, and Harfun. Okay. If I ask you what is Kalima, then what will you say? What is Kalima? Word. Word. A meaningful word is called Kalima. Okay. Now we'll learn what is noun. What is Ism? Read what is Ism. Al Ism, noun, the name of person, place, animal, or thing. Without reference to any particular thing. Example Group Room Taliban Student Fabimatu is also a name. Then they name Imbratun, a woman, Regilun, man, Talibatun, a female student. So, what is this? Um? The name. Name of anything and it does not show time, okay? Yes. A name in such a way that it does not show time. Next student is Muhammad Yasir. Mr. Muhammad Yasir. Yes, sir. Read what is fail. Fail. Verb. A doing word. Word. Hello. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Read. A doing word is its various in tenses. They are the past tense. I'll tell Mazi. The present tense, al fail muzaria. The future tense, al fail muzaria. Read the sentences also. Read the example of fail muzaria. You will soon. No, so far, Muna. You will soon know. But here, so they have, Muna. but here they have missed one category. Read this. These are the three types of verb: Mazi, Zare, and Amar. Okay. Yes. Sir. What is Amar? 
Amar command, sir. Yes, command in imperative verb. What is fail? Fail. Uh, what is fail? Anyone? Bapta. Fail is doing word. Yes. A verb which represent action is called a fail. Okay. Yeah. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, so fail is a word which represents action. Then what are what are the three types of fail? Madhi, Mudari, Amr. Yes, Mazi, Muzari, and Amr. What is Mazi? Anyone? What is Mazi? Mazi is a present past. past. Yes, Mazi is a past. And Muzare? Muzare, present and future. Present and future. And Amar? Amar is command. command. Amar is command. Okay. So the next is <clears throat> Harf. Mr. Rama? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Read. Harus. Harus includes a. Bring some energy in your sound. Harus. Haruf includes a wide variety of Arabic particles. Among them are preposition, interjection, and in congestion. This meaning cannot be full understood unless it is accompanied by a verb or a noun. P.G. P. In. Ila. Towards me from which EGT said went to the school. Zahaba Zaid Ilal Madrasa. I wrote with a pen. Katabtu Bil Kolam. So, what is harf? Mr. Rama, what is harf? Harf. Preposition, interjection, and conjunction. Okay. Okay. Preposition. Yes. Yes. Preposition, interjection, and conjunction are known as half. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. Tell me what is half. Preposition, conjunction. Not complete answer. What is half? Okay. Half. Preposition. In interconjunction and conjunction. Interjection. Interjection. Now, whatever we have learned in this chapter, they have written here in the forms of rules. Okay, so that you can easily memorize it. <clears throat> so, in the homework, I will ask you what is kalima. Then you write like this: kalima is a meaningful word. It has three types. You can write it in all in your own words, okay? Main thing you need to understand what is kalima. Similarly, I will ask you what is noun. You will write it in your own words. You can write it. Then verb, you can write it in your own words. And particle, you would, I will ask you these four things. What is kalima, what is noun, what is verb, what is particle. And you will write them as your homework. 
Okay. So, Ms. Rina, read what we have learned in this chapter. Okay, sir. Okay, um, from where? Rule number one? Yes. Uh, rule number one, a kalima is a meaningful word. It is of three kinds. Noun, ism, verb, feel, uh, particle, harfu. A noun is a word which indicates a person, place, animal, thing, or a quality without any relation to time. A verb is a word which denotes an action which relation to a particular time. A particle is a word the meaning of which cannot be understood without an accompanying noun or a verb. So you all need to remember these four things. Now we will learn the types of nouns. So in Arabic, nouns are divided into, the ism is divided into different categories through different ways. In first method, ism is divided into two categories. First category is marifa and the second category is nakira. In the first method, in the first way, ism is divided into these two categories, marifa and nakira. Then in the second way, we divide the ism into two categories again. In But in this time, we divide it into muzakkar and monas. So in the second way, ism is divided into masculine and feminine. Then in the third way, it is has three categories. In English, we only have singular and plural. But in Arabic, we have singular, dual, and plural. We have three categories in Arabic. These are the three ways in which ism is divided into different categories. <clears throat> Next student is Simon Fahim. The three classification of a noun, taksimatul ismul salasa. The definite and the indefinite. Al marifatu wa nakiratu. The second one is the masculine and the feminine. The muzakkar commonness. Third one is the singular, the dual, and the plural. Al mufarrad wa wal musna. Well, Jamal. 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 The de indefinite and the definite noun, Nakira and Marfa. So I hope you already all know what is the indefinite and what is definite. So indefinite or Nakira mean uncommon thing, a, a general thing which is not specific. And marfa mean a specific thing, specific noun. Mr. Anas. Hello? Yes. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Read, Mr. Anas. Indefinite noun. An indefinite noun, a nakira, is one, of, one that refers to any person, place, or thing and does not denote a particular person, place, or thing. Example, farasun, a horse, talibun, a student, madrasatun, a school, rajulun, a man, madinatun, a city, kitabun, a book. Marifa, definite noun. A definite noun, Marifa, is one that denotes a particular person, place, or thing. Example, Al-Fars, the horse, Khalid, 
the name of a particular person al kitab the book karachi name of a particular city so what is nakira and nakira it, it is an indefinite indefinite noun it it is uh, ஸ்பெசிபிக் <laughs> it is not specific, yeah. common specific well defined thing is called modifier so you know that in english we use a or an with indefinite and we use the word uh, the article d with definite the so same thing in arabic we use tanween with nakira noun it can be tanween or rafa damma it can be the mean of fata it can be the mean of kasra but in marifa we cannot use the mean in with marfa noun you can never use the mean you will always use single vowel same thing is written here then here we have the types of marifa these are the top five types of marifa which are allah mismo shara tamir ismo mausur muarraf bil alif so at the moment they are saying that you will learn only two of them in detail first one is proper noun and the second one is muarraf bil alif so with any noun when we join the particle alif lam it become marifa that is called muarraf bil alif next student is mohammad sam am usman ambalo assalamu alaikum uh, i read the notes or the proper noun note read the note okay. note uh, generally Okay. Note generally when translating an indefinite noun the article a and a few and some are used before the noun. On the other hand, when translating a definite noun the article the is used before the noun. There are many type of definite nouns. Alamun proper noun. Ismun اسم إشارة demonstrative pronoun ضمير personal pronoun pronoun اسم موضول relative pronoun معرف بالع بالعالف the noun rendered defined by the article alif lam etc all this will be discussed in detail later for the present two will suffice first proper noun alamun alamun or alam is the specific noun of an individual or a city etc examples aish aisha 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 pakistan pakistan khali khalidun khalid misr egypt to muarrafun bil alif is the noun rendered defined by the attaching the article alif lam example ar rasul the messenger al walad the boy al kitab the book al bait the house the def the definite article alif lam is completed okay the definite article alif lam is only attached 
to nouns. It is not attached to verbs and particles. Similar, similarly, the nunation also is one of the specific special fe features, features of a noun. Verbs and particles are never nunized. So what is ismialam? What is ismi what is uh, alam is a proper noun like proper noun famous noun okay and what is mu what is muarraf bin yeah. alif muarraf bin uh, it's like uh, the de the definite noun is that the definite noun alif which is alif lam is called muarraf bin alif okay. Can we use Alif Lam with the mm -hmm. fail? Can we use mm -hmm. Alif Lam? Al can we use Al with the fail? Fail? Mm -hmm. No. No. Can we use Al, al with the harf? No. Can we use Al with the isam? Al, yeah, yes, we can use it with the ism the, when we refer in the proper. Anybody, any question? No. Yes, sir, I have a question, sir. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah wa rahmatullah. Sir, is it that we cannot use uh, the definite with anything other than the ism? Yes, All definiteness right. is a character of ism only. Okay, sir. thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay, then we will learn the particle Ali in detail. Ali Sheri Ibrahim, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, read. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Here you will learn two things that after the addition of Alif Lam, the noun becomes Marifa, a Nakira becomes Marifa, and also Nakira loses its Tanween. After the addition of Al, we cannot use Tanween. Then you will learn about Haruful Kamuniya and Haruful Shamsi. And Haruful Kamuniya, Lam is pronounced like Al Jidaru, Al Babu, Lam is pronounced. But in Haruful Shamsiya, Lam is silent, like Arra Kibu, Asamaru, Attamaru. So these letters are known as Kamari Haruf, and these are known as Shamsi Haruf. Shamsi, you. Oh. You will learn these things. So read. Oh, the article Alif Alam is referred to as Urufun Tahrifu, Tarif, definite article. Since it makes definite the noun to which it is attached. To make an indefinite noun definite, the article alif, alif lam is prefixed to it. After adi, alif lam, the noun undergoes two changes. One, it is no longer used in general sense. Instead, it denotes a particular place or thing, etc. It looks to it loses its nunation and only one vowel sign remains. Examples, rojulun, arrojulu, walada, waladun, awaladu, rojulan, arrojula, waladan, awalada, rojulin, arrojuli, waladin, Awaladi. What did you learn in this point? I, I learned that um, when you have, uh, when you make uh, a part an article, when when you turn um, a noun to an article, it turns into definite. So definite article. I want to say that you know, to say that when we add al 
to a nakira noun nakira oh, yeah, is it becomes marfa okay then what else happens when we add al to a nakira is nakira when we add al to a nakira is what oh, oh. happens okay yes uh, it, it 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 changes to you um tenuin changes to namadoma yes when we add so rajulun is a nakira noun amen when we add al no. it will lose its tenuin it becomes marfa yes as we cannot use marfa tenuin with the marfa noun nam next student is and it as we we, we uh, okay. okay there are certain letters in arabic before which the lam 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 alif mim of alif lam is pronounced these are known as hurufu qamariya qamariya or the noun letters eg qain ayn kha ha jim the lam of the article alif lam is pronounced before words beginning with these letters eg ajdaru albabu alhakamu alakamu on the other hand there are certain letters before which the lam of alif alif lam is dropped in pronunciation these letters are known as al hurufun al hurufu shamsiya or the sun letters eg sin fa ta ta those when reading when reading alif lam is silent raqibu samaru as samaru ar raqibu okay ar raqibu as as samaru atamaru the moon letters alif ba jim ha kha ain ghain fa qaf kaf mim ha wa ya the sun letters ta ta dal dal ro zain sin shi sod dot to do lam nun what you what are the huruf for kamriya huruf kamar huruf kamriya uh the letters that um that will be pronounced of that doesn't have shada those sab of kamriya those letters in which the lam of al is pronounced like al jidar wal bab her lam will be pronounced the jim this jim this ba this ha is called al kaat of al kamriya nam al bab wala hakam then what are huruf shamsiya huruf shamsiya are the huruf that uh, they are uh, that makes the lam uh, al rakibu al sham as samaru al shamsu that we have shada after the alif lam so huruf shamsiya are those which makes the lam silent okay nam the lam will not be pronounced next student is faz adana can you hear me faz adana jibril slaudin mr jibril slaudin jibril slaudin is yes okay so whatever we have learnt in this chapter they have written here in the forms of rules so read yes, them a noun can be classified into definite and indefinite one definite noun al ma'rifa refer to a particular person place animal thing or quality two indefinite noun al nakira refer to any person place 
animal, thin, or quality. Rule number three, there are many kinds of definite nouns. Some of them are proper noun. Parliament. Demonstrative pronoun. Ismal Ishara. Personal pronoun. Domir. Relative pronoun. Ism. Ismon Mosul. Ismon Mosul. Noun made definite by the article Al. Mu'arriful Bilam. Mu'arrifun Bilam. If anybody has any question, they can ask me. Exercise number one, make the following noun definite by adding the article al. So Nakira nouns are written here. He is asking you to make the marfa, which is very simple. So you will just add alif lam to all of them. And after the addition of alif lam, you would know you cannot use the mean, so you will use only one the Quran nun will become al Quranu, Ummun will become al Ummu, Kurasatun will become al Kurasatu, al Lahu, al Maktabu, al Rahimu. Question is easy, but you will have to do one more thing you will write their meanings. The important thing is you will write their meanings also. So meanings are written at the end of this chapter. You can write it from there or you can use dictionary or whatever you want. So you write meanings of all these. Then following nouns are known as again, he's asking you to add the article Al to them. So you know when you will add Al, they will lose the other mean. So Warakatan, a paper, Al Warakata, the paper. Al Arda, Al Arnaba, Atta Irata, Al Bakarata. After the addition of Alif Lam, they will lose the earth and mean. Again, you will write the meaning of all these words. <clears throat> Again, he is asking you to add Al. So, same thing here. After the addition of Al, they will lose the earth and mean. Al Wardati, Al Uyuni, Al Yamini, As Samai. <clears throat> so, again, you will just write the end meanings. Next time, inshallah, we'll start chapter number three. Any question? Yes, sir. I have one question, sir. Yes. Uh, what book? What book is this? Lisanul Quran. I sent this book in the WhatsApp group today. Okay, sir. Okay. It is in grammar you, book. Oh, okay. We have it. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum What you said last was that, would that be our assignment or you send the assignment? I will create a separate Google Classroom for this book. Then I will send okay, the sir. link. You can, you will join it. And then you will right, submit sir. the assignment.